Assalamu alaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from NM Watch and I'm back with another unboxing of a brand new watch, right? So, um, first thing first, um, it is not really a common thing for me to receive or, or to get watches to review in for review that it is not that has not been received by the owner right so the first one to do that is uh, mr marvin he sent he ordered a watch from aliexpress and the, he asked the seller to send it straight to me right so that is the first one <laughs> the first person who did that to me right thank you very much marvin and next another one is another new sub i think she's a new subscriber but it's a woman it's from a woman she received this particular watch um maybe a month back and i thought at that point of time she said that she never really took off the watch and use it and i and she sent it to me when and when i take a look at take a look at this particular watch it is still box fresh unused right so that is crazy guys thank you very much for your support and for your trust and um, for me right so yeah let's let's cue the intro Alright guys, so welcome back to the unboxing of a brand new Chris <laughs> Christopher Ward. Right, so which one is it? Let's do a quick wristwatch check today. I'm wearing my Christopher Ward C63 Sealander 36mm in Lucerne Blue, right? So uh, I've unboxed it, I'm, I've received, I've got this watch from St. Martin, like, it's not from <laughs> Christopher Ward, um, maybe around um, September last year and I still love, love wearing this thing. It's it's quite unique and it's of course it's quite small but i think i just prefer this uh, size of 36 millimeters watch for a daily watch right so what's in the box you might ask right so first up is this smaller box i think they came on uh, in a much bigger box but uh, they she sent me my, um, my friend the uh, depth subscriber miss farhana sent me this uh, two boxes separate boxes let's just see what is inside this is the leather strap that came with this particular watch right so you know what let's just take it out of the box right so if you guys know your sis christopher ward you know that what what <laughs> watch comes with this particular strap so yeah cool looking uh christopher ward logo there with this with this um what do you call this keeper here to make sure that it won't uh, f uh, f it won't <laughs> peel uh, fall fell off from the strap it's very very soft and supple uh italian vintage oak leather cool right so let's just take it away for a while and let's see what is inside the big box right so let's just take it out of the sleeve okay and put that aside and do the other way around and oh my god this is a bit too big okay okay all right all right all right all right so another in box inside the box so this is the c63 cylinder automatic 36 millimeters <laughs> right so you guys know what it is already right so um that is the polishing cloth i think right so and this is the watch right so in red color right so i can't remember what they what did they call this but you can see that this is box fresh never worn and uh, even the plastic is still on the watch you know what let's just try to peel that off that the sticker off without hurting anything right so i i can already notice the the difference between my version and this version you know what? let's just <laughs> let's just pause all right guys so so sorry about that so plastic is off so this is this is the c63 cylinder 36 mil in a red right so mine is the lucerne blue this is the 36 the cs red so i'm when i when i wanted to get this particular watch i kind of um i was thinking of getting either the blue one or the red dial one so i went for this uh, blue one and yeah for a second choice i think this thing looks oh my god that looks i know it looks red but in reality it looks it has a bit of um, a tinge of an of orange there so i have no idea what to call this exact colorway so yeah maybe my wife know but still <laughs> awesome looking um light catcher case design there and we have the again ex the exact same case um but there is a bit of difference compared to the to my version my watch right so this one you see that the the rotor it has the Prince Christopher Ward engraving is it has some uh, black printing while my version 
is using you know let's just take it off and see what are the difference right so this version they, they, they don't really put any black printing on the rotor I wonder why <laughs> right so yeah that now now I'm, 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 a, I'm a bit annoyed <laughs> because I think that looks way much cooler right so what do you guys think so yeah both are featuring this um, what do you call this uh, sake of uh, Solita SW200 movement so mine is 29 out of 200 so this both of these watches are limited edition and this one is uh, I can't see oops let's just see if they have yeah 100 and 128 129 out of 200 right so yeah I don't really know why they they changed the they changed the, the color here but still if you guys know please do <laughs> let me know in the comment section below right so the dial layout is basically the, basically the same so you see that um, it is nicely done uh, screw down crown here you can just uh, stop it and hack it all right so and let's just see the uh, date wheel let's just see if it is out of the danger zone nope right so let's just go one more time to make sure that we are not in the danger zone right so i really don't want to break anything here so you guys ready three two one yeah oh yeah just a few minutes before the 12 o'clock 12 o'clock mark and let's just go to the 10 10 position here and yep so put it back in let's just change the date okay right so today is 22nd 20 and 22nd and screwing back in so very very nicely done right so yep acer red looks cool huh? right so if we put it pair it with the red color stripe oh that looks cool right so you know what i'm um, <laughs> the bracelet is basically the exact same bracelet so yeah i'm gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be sizing this bracelet but i wonder if they have made it a uh, single sided screw i don't think so yep both they are still using the exact annoying um double-sided screws which you know i just don't know why they wanted to they, they, they did that but still you know what with a bit of you know youtube magic let's put it put this thing on a red let's restrike resize the bracelet and now you guys ready and boom this is on my <laughs> c633 c lander 36 bracelet so this is my own bracelet so i've just took off the you know the the original bracelet the brand new bracelet and put it on my own bracelet so you can see that the the class is very very long for a such a small watch and yeah I, that kind that you know it that bugs me sometimes right but still awesome looking piece with that uh acer red <laughs> look right so of course we have those two tabs there that you can easily take out uh, to replace it with another strap right so yeah totally cool looking. yeah before i completely forgot let's just reconfirm the diameter of this the dimensions of this particular piece it's supposed to be 30 right so how much is it 36.1 millimeters in diameter so a thickness of a belt 11.1 so the exact same um yeah the exact same one just basically the exact same case 42.3 millimeters from luck to luck and a luck width of 20 millimeters right so yep and way on this oh sorry i've uh, on this on the bracelet so size up for my 6.75 inch wrist so it'll be at about 128 grams so very very nice and lightweight and you can see that the finishing on this light catcher case is you know what they are just superb to look at guys so i've re i've i've done a micro macro shot of this part of, of my blue lucerne blue dial, dial uh, version but yeah i will do the you know the macro shot again the same macro shot on this uh, acer red as well right so you know what let's just put that red strap on this particular watch this just try to do this without pausing shall we so you guys uh, it should be easy to do right so that is why we have this easy to release tabs here so let's just put it on the table right so i'm just going to be showing you how easy or difficult it is to to release the bracelet voila we are done right so and you can see that inside this um, brace case right so you see that there is then there's an indentation there so basically that is 
for you know for easy for, to make it easy for you to swap out straps and again if you guys have thicker um, uh, leather straps so that would not definitely not hurt your uh, your your leather strap right so let's just put this end right so the first one and because of the use of this um, quick release pins there is no need for a uh, for a oh my god for a drill lug hose right so yep so, oh okay so now this is going to be a bit more challenging then uh-huh now these things are not quick <laughs> quick snap on right so <laughs> yeah so that is the, the side and let's go for another side oh. okay come on come on come on don't me back don't make me back uh three two one please go in yep so this is how i'm struggling with sometimes with this uh quick release style of uh, straps guys nope it's not working i'm gonna pause all right so finally it is on the supplied leather strap <laughs> so sorry so basically what you get with this limited edition christopher watt c633 is a matching leather strap right so for my lucent blue i've got the exact same color but a bit more um tiffany blue uh strap that is why i paired it with this um distress blue uh leather strap from italian leather strap from vario and this one is uh you know it's it's using this vintage italian oak leather right so is it is it what do you call this again vintage italian italian vintage oak leather right so yeah i don't know what it is but still it looks cool but it's a bit too flashy for me so it's a bit too um what do you call this chinese new year <laughs> chinese new year theme here but yeah if you guys are cool with red color guys so yeah you should definitely go for this style of you know of strap right so kevin o'leary using use this uh, red straps on, on all of his watches so yeah so yeah why not you guys right so again um sign christopher watt buckle there and i think this one should fit some quite a lot of variation of wrist sizes right so i am on the oh i'm on the one two three four five six hole so basically i think this strap is more catered to maybe you know people with 5.5 inch uh, up to seven inch wrist so if you guys have bigger wrist than that so yeah you might want to ask christopher what if they have something a whole lot longer but still cool looking option on this particular piece right so you know what let's just quickly charge both of these watches and see how they look like in the dark right so where is my torch so let's charge them both them both and see how good or how bad the loom is so are you guys ready three two one and yeah of course both of these watches are going to perform really really well in the loom department because they are using the um c1 something something <laughs> loom from from uh, super luminova and they work excellent f if you charge them properly uh, before you go to sleep right so that is this is my version yeah awesome looking piece right you know what let's just put that away so what do you guys think of uh, this um christopher ward c63 c lander 36 ace red <laughs> that is a mouthful and yep if you guys have any questions whatsoever so please do let me know in the comment section below section below i will of course leave uh do wear this for a while and maybe for about a week and do a full in-depth review of this particular piece right so before i have to return it to its uh, owner and thank you very much um miss farhana for letting me enjoy your brand new watch right so yeah this is just unbelievable believable the support that i get from my subscribers so, so thank you for that right so if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye